Yo, it's poppin', it's poppin'. My bad. It's all good, it's all good. Back. So what are some ways somebody can spice up their sex life if it's born? Huh? What are some ways somebody can spice up their sex life if it's born? Add toys. Um, add partners. I not my that's not my cup of tea, but whatever floats your boat. You uh, you feel like you fulfill all your sexual fantasies, or something else you yet to fulfill? Um, I feel like whoa, no <laughs> partner right there. Okay, okay. You ain't like you ain't got to answer that. You don't have to answer that. Hey, Kelsey. Huh? What's what's one thing you learned from dating? Um, you can't go into a relationship without loving yourself. If you don't love yourself first, it just ain't gonna work out. No, that's right. <sighs> Would you rather date a single dad or a guy with fifteen bodies? A single dad? Yeah. Or a guy with 15 bodies? Yeah. I mean, honestly, it depends on the personality. Bodies ain't got nothing to do with me, as long as it ain't. 15 ain't bad. You don't think 15 a lot? It, I mean, it depends when he started getting sexually active. <laughs> Damn. Okay, okay. You want to share your body out? For a man, I don't think that is a lot. For a female, I'm not gonna say because that ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't. I'm a girl's girl, so if she got 15 bodies, she got 15 bodies. Ain't got nothing. You want to share your body count? Mine? Yeah. Nah, I'm good. Okay, it's cool. You ain't got shit. You ain't got to. Okay. What What three things you say all the time? Period. Um, okay. <laughs> and my daughter's name. Okay. How many kids you get? One. Okay. Is it okay for a guy to ask you for money if you're dating? It depends on how long. Like, if he just now asking his first date type thing, first week type thing. So when should when should he feel comfortable to ask you for money? I feel like if I mean I feel like really I don't know. Some girls are different. For me, if I see you're struggling, and I know I got it, I'm gonna make sure you got. At the end of the day, like, I'll make sure you're good so that you don't have to ask type thing. Because I don't like being asked, so I'm going to help if I see that you need help. Mm. You got to pay back? Do you got to pay back? No, I mean, it depends <laughs> what we talking about. How much we talking about? About $500. need to get that car fixed. Yeah. 500 You don't have to pay me back. What if he's a little bit late on that car note, though? You got him? Four, 450 Cool, but you still got to pay me back. Okay. With interest? No. Okay. Okay. Shit. Uh, what's something you'll never do again? Oh, um, I never do again. Want to come back to it? Okay, we we'll go back to it. Which one you prefer, shower sex or car sex? Car. Okay. Did the guy ever sneak out your window when you was younger? Well, seventeen. God damn. You was in high school or you graduated already? Yeah, I was in high school. Getting ready to graduate. Wait a minute. So you was like you had like a one level house, a two level house? I was in a one level. Oh shit! So it wasn't like the movie where they sneak out. Oh wait, no, 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 no! He didn't. He actually he didn't sneak in. I snuck. I snuck out. That's yeah. I snuck out. Oh damn! You hopping out windows and hopping on dick, huh? <laughs> huh? You ever got caught? Yeah, so you never told your mom to this day? Nope. Wow. 
So you gonna take that shit to the grave? No, if she asked, then I'll tell him. Oh, I'm not tell her. In general, does plastic surgery make women look better, yes or no? Yeah, I mean, it depends. It depends. Where it depends, man. Yeah, because some people can be boxy and some people can look natural and some people can not look natural but not look boxy and it still look good. Mm. Can you tell a can you tell a natural ass from a fake ass? I feel like I look at enough booty to know the difference. So yeah. What's the big difference though? Like what's the biggest one? The way it sits. Like first of all, the sides are like, and then the top is like. Okay. Uh. Okay. Okay. So you seen the BBL in real life? Yeah. At Walmart. What? Mm-hmm. That shit like five or ten thousand dollars. They got they got racks. That I'm saying because I don't live in no fancy neighborhood, and I've seen multiple people with BBLs in my Walmart. You, sh- you sure it wasn't natural? Did you ask? No, I promise you, it was giving Kim Kardashian like her legs was so skinny, her booty was just. You don't think it was the gym? No, you can tell. It's mm. like it's like an apple. Mm. Right, right. Like a damn. I feel like it wasn't. It wasn't ugly. It just didn't fit her legs. I bet she had on a sundress or some shit. No, she had on black leggings. Typical. They say sexy red make music for women who think receiving child support is a come up. You agree or disagree with that? She made music for who? Sexy red make music for women who think receiving child support is a come up. (laughs) No, I don't agree. Uh, this is another quote. They say, "My dad generation had Wonder Woman. My generation has to wonder if it's a woman." As who? My dad generation had Wonder Woman. My generation has to wonder if it's a woman. Mm. Right. Be they say sex before marriage is a sin unless you do it doggy style, because all dogs go to heaven. So what, I'm supposed to answer? So like, what's the question? You you think it's true or false? False. (laughs) Okay, okay, okay. What's your opinion on dating nowadays, though, man? How how you feel about it? Your honest opinion? He gotta be working. He gotta be having some type of income. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Could you could you date a guy who got no job? No. I've no. What if he's between jobs? He's chasing his dreams. He just needs somebody to believe in him. He, he got a car, somebody. he got a house, he got everything he needs, he just chased in between jobs. Well he ain't got no damn job. In between jobs he ain't got no damn yeah, he ain't got no job. But he does have enough money to support him. Then yeah. Mm. Mm, okay. What if he say I just need you to some inv- I need you to invest in my future. <laughs> okay, first of all, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Down the line, but like we just now meeting type thing. No, it's weird. Mm. I can't invest in you before me. I just feel like no. I mean, if I knew the person and you know what I'm saying, I was already up type thing. But just to be straight up dating and barely even know the person, no. I'm, Okay. If you had to meet your 18 year old self, you allowed three words, what do you say? If I what? If you met your 18 year old self and you only allowed three words, what do you say to yourself? Your 18 year old self. You doing that. That's what I'm going to say. You doing If you had five minutes with God, what would you ask him? That's a hard question for him. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I'd be speechless. I'd be scared a little bit. Mm, okay. What advice would you give someone looking for love? Love yourself first. Know what you want in a person. What you want in that person. Apply it to yourself. And read that Bible. Read Make Bible. sure that person love God. Make sure that person love God just as much as you do. 
What is a subtle sign someone isn't good? What isn't a good person? Constantly lying, white lies. Mm. All that time for it. A lot of them care who tell it, ain't it? Hmm? A lot of them care who tell it, ain't it? A lot of them tell who? A lot of them care who tell it. Right, exactly. If you could make a law that the whole country has to obey, what would it be and why? If I could make a law that the whole country could what? If, the, if you could make a law that the whole country could have to obey and why, what would it be? Um, gas will be free. Yeah. Gas will be free. I'll probably say for me free health care. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, okay. Can you, could you date someone in the same neighborhood as you, or workplace? In the same neighborhood? No, not over here. No. Um, what about workplace? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you think the type of clothes you wear has a boost to your confidence, or the confidence can only come from the inside? I feel like both. It can come from the inside, and your clothes can, if they fit you nice, they can make you feel the type of way. Okay. They can give you that confidence. When was the last time you were properly asked on a date? I had to say... Back in like 2018. Damn, five years ago? Six, yeah. Don't know, six. How did he ask you though? How, how should a man ask you for a date though? I, I, mm, I was his first relationship, so honestly, he was very boring. I feel like if you want to ask someone out on a date, you got to be like exciting about it. You got to make her actually want to go on a date. Don't just text like you want to go on a date. I feel like it needs to be more. It should be in person. You should make her bring her some flowers, bring her chocolate. If you know her, then bring something she likes. And I don't know. I just know. Actually, you know what? It won't. I won't say 2018. I'll say maybe last year for sure. Last year or two years ago. Mm. Yeah. Uh, have you ever stalked someone? Yeah. I mean, I lurked. If you want to call that stalking, yeah, I guess. Has someone ever stalked you? Yeah. Oh, well, actually, I don't know. How would I know? You say you were lurking, lurking on their page, their social yeah. media? Mm -hmm. uh, like going in somebody's window? No. No. Okay. Following everybody at someone's every move? No. This is going on Instagram? I mean, TikTok. Yeah, it's on YouTube. Oh, yeah, it's going on the. Yeah, it's going on the. Did you meet anybody special this year? Like a special man that you want to continue next year with? Did I meet? No. What would you rate 2023 for you so far? I give it a 7 out of 10. A lot of things happen, but it don't mean like... I'm not going to rate it bad because worse could have happened. The worst thing that did happen is I lost my car. That's all I'm going to say. Damn, that sucks. Uh, what? Okay. How you how you feel when the guy pays for everything? I feel like he probably got that old school love, bro. Could you I go mean, pay, paying don't mean that you love somebody. You know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously you wouldn't get paid for anything. I mean, I don't know. People are different, but I just feel like maybe the person would be like old school you know how guys pay for everything and stuff like that right what, what make huh? okay okay what, what make people fall out of love doing things you didn't do in the beginning of the relationship let me explain like smoking and drinking and and like just being different like, i mean i know people grow and they're different but if you're not growing in a positive way and you're like doing things you Jurassic didn't do in the beginning. That right there. Why do people cheat on their partners? 
Okay, speaking for myself, I feel like people cheat on their partners because when they try to tell their partners, like, this ain't it, they don't accept that this ain't it, and either they're scared something might happen to them if they actually try to break up, or they just want their cake and eat it too. Are you guilty of cheating? Hmm? Are you guilty of cheating? No. So you never cheated before? Yeah, I had before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How long ago was this? 11th grade. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. What, oh. what, what's your opinion on music nowadays? Um, they could do better. The music can do better. Yes. Okay. Kids are listening, so do better. What's the most normalized addiction? Shoot, nowadays it's uh, cornstarch. People just eat cornstarch like it's normal. What's the weirdest place you had a quickie at before? Never. Okay. What's your opinion on money? Money? You said money? Yeah, what's your opinion on money? Um, it's wicked for real. I wish it didn't exist. Stuff should just be free. Mm, you need to free your mind. No, money is money is ridiculous for real. What does the government care about? Its own preservation or our preservation? Its own. Mm. What's the worst thing about being single? Not having nobody to cuddle with. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. What things black people say when they about to start gossiping? <laughs> uh, bitch, let me tell you. Mm. Okay, how come when females, when guys talk, they don't call it gossip, but when females talk amongst each other, they call it gossip? Oh, what do you guys call it? I don't, I don't know. It's chopping it up, maybe. Mm, I don't know. Dude, that's well, I feel like you got to get a guy's perspective on that and then ask a girl why she feels like it's gossip. I feel like it's gossip because if you're talking about someone else that you can't say it to their face, obviously, gossip. Why are men shamed for being thirsty when women created the drought? Why are men what? Why are men shamed for being thirsty when women created the drought? Because there's a level to it. Like, don't OD it. You gotta give an example on that, though. Like, if I'm at the gas station, you ask to pump my gas, and I say, no, I got it. Or if I'm at the gas station, you say, you got a boyfriend? And I say, yes. Then walk away. Don't try to, all right, what that got to do with me? A lot, like, it don't got nothing to do with you, but. Okay, we can be friends. Your boyfriend don't let you have friends. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's Oh, buffet, nigga. Yeah. Getting a, is getting divorced from your open marriage is like getting fired from a job you didn't have. You agree or disagree? Getting a divorce from an open marriage is like getting a job that you never had. It's like getting fired from a job you never had. I don't even see how those two align. For me. Uh, disagree. Okay, we'll skip that one. What can stop a man from cheating? What can? Yeah. Nothing. I mean, I guess real love. Like, if they really experience some real love. What's the difference between self-respect and ego? Self-respect? Yeah. Um, Treat people how you want to be treated, and your ego is just like pride, I guess. I don't know. Honestly, I feel like ego and pride is the same thing. I really don't know the difference, to be honest. Mm, okay. I feel like ego is more about, you know, thinking you're more better than people, more pro, more thinking you're superior. Pride is kind of like, you know, 
I feel like I'm all that, but I don't, you know, I take pride in what I do for myself. I take good care of myself, pride. Do you think riches and wealth come by hard work or there are spiritual forces that influence it? Mm. 